good evening sushmita banerji you are appearing for ibps po or federal bank po federal bank sir acha good which college are you studying now chandigarh chandigarh university acha acha good what is the degree you are doing now uh, it's mba in uh, business analytics okay good prior to that what was the degree you did BBA Bachelor's in Business Administration. Can you please tell me? What is a partnership firm? Um, partnership firm is basically where two a uh, person is involved in a business deal. Hmm. Um, in order to make a venture. Hmm. Now, who is a, what is a proprietor firm? A uh, sole proprietor is where a single owner of a firm is. Uh, he is the business owner of the firm and he is only liable for uh, all the rules and regulation and all the decisions of the firm. Supposing you have an option to start a business. Mm -hmm. Will you go for proprietor business or partnership business? I will go for sole proprietorship. Achha. What is the reason? Uh, sir, uh, that uh, sole proprietorship uh, requires uh, the equity, 100% equity uh, to uh, myself. And I will be liable for taking every uh, decisions in the business. Uh, so it will be an added advantage for me uh, in the sole proprietorship. Mm. Until then, unless I need to dilute my equity, I will go for a sole proprietorship, sir. Mm -hmm. One minute. Yeah. Now, anybody has got some doubts based on what you have studied, but none of you are studying. That is a problem because your college work is very tight and you don't have time. So you are not able to study at all. So what have you studied and what is the doubt you have? What is the doubt you have? Because uh, we cannot equate our federal bank interview with uh, IBPSPO and all. Because there they are asking completely away from um, perception questions. You might have, I think I have not posted those questions to you. Because they have asked question on Doppler effect. For a physics student, they have asked on Doppler effect, modulation, modem and all that. Uh, is there any MCA candidate here? MCA, anybody, Pratik, you, uh, are you MCA or MB? No, sir, MSc, sir. MSc, MSc, mathematics. Achha, achha. Good, good, good. Okay, good. What do you know about Mr. Ramanujan? Yes, Excuse sir. Excuse me. Yeah, what have yeah. you? Come to know about Mr. Ramanujan and mathematics. Yes, sir. We can relate everything to mathematics, sir. And mathematics is uh, the king of every subject. And uh, um, Mr. Ramanujan uh, was a very good mathematician. And uh, uh, we can we celebrate his birthday as the our National Mathematics Day on uh, 22nd December. Oh, very good. 22nd December. Achha, achha. Good. Then, uh, any other thing you know about mathematics number and all that? Some Ramanujan number and all that? Yes, sir. 1729. Uh, it's oh. called uh, the X at Dono. Means, uh, this is called friendship number also. Mm -hmm. Why it is called uh, Ramanujan number? 
not ramanujan number it is called uh, like mm-hmm. friendship number it is the smallest number that can be uh, sum of uh, three uh, uh, cubic number like i think uh, uh, 10 cube plus 11 cube and plus uh, 12 cube we can get 1729 and this is the la- uh, when he was with his friend and he returned to india at that time uh, he got that formula mm-hmm. so the one it seven, seems two, it is called by different numbers for example some people call it ramanujan number some others call it taxi cab number yes yes sir that that was also uh, when he when, uh, came to india that time uh, the taxi number was also uh, the 1729 <laughs> yes sir what is so special about ramanujan number what is so special about ramanujan number also, pratik please no, read pratik read yes, this sir. yes sir in 19 uh, 1980 18 indian mathematician srinivas ramanujan was admitted to the hospital in london where he was visited by his uh, colleague and long time friend g h hardy ha uh-huh. this number is also known as the uh, hardy ramanujan hardy number the f- fellow mathematician had arrived in a taxi which was numbered 1729 and had thought about it on his way to the room upon entering ramanujan's room hardy uh, hardy blurted it was the rather a double dual number after dull number hello it dull number dull number yes sir yeah after that it comes read full story when ramanujan came to know when ramanujan came to know Uh, of the number the mathematician said no hardy it was it is a very interesting number it is the smallest number expressible as the sum of two cubes in two different way uh, this conversation which is the base of the uh, mysterious hardy ramanujan number is documented in his biography the man who knew infinity by robert uh, uh, nagel regal Yeah, yes. continue. Yes, sir. Ramanujan explained uh, that one seven two nine is the only number that is the sum of two cubes, a different pair of numbers like twelve to the power twelve cube plus one cube, and also we can write ten cube plus nine cube. Uh, it was one seven. It was, it was not, not a, a sudden calculation for Ramanujan. According to his uh, biography, years before he had observed this little arithmetic morsel, recorded it in his notebook, and with that easy intimacy with numbers, that was his uh, trademark. Uh, remember, remembered it. The unique number later come to know as the Hardy Ramanujan number. Yeah, December twenty two. December twenty two is marked as the National Mathematics Day every year, remembering on Indians uh, India's greatest mathematician Srinivas uh, Iyengar <coughs> Ramanujan, who contributed to explaining the analytical theory of numbers and worked on elliptic function, continued fractions, and infinite series. Born on December twenty two, eighteen eighty seven. in a small village he rode southwest of chennai in a tamil brahmin uh, langer family iyengar 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 okay sorry sir iyengar hmm. uh, a student who held exams due to his uh, negligence uh, for non mathematical subjects ramanujan worked on uh, swimming mathematical no swimming uh, night swimming swimming sorry sir summing mathematical uh, geometric and arithmetic series ramanujan's flair for mathematics was first recognized by a colleague when he started working as a clerk in the madras port uh, trust in 1912 his work was documented in the journal of indian mathematical society where he showed the relation between elliptic modular equation तो पता ही नहीं होता है ये सब क्या है एलिप्टिक मॉड्यूलर इक्वेशन 
it's a bit is difficult yeah. to understand anyhow thank you so that much yes, is sir. sufficient yeah we, we i i wish they should not ask such things normally interviewers favorite question is what is pythagoras theorem what is compound interest formula what is simple interest formula supposing you get some 5 lakhs rupees will you give loan to mr x on compound interest or on simple interest some such basic questions they will ask which you can easily answer good now anybody else any questions any yes, questions sir. yeah please ask madhab madhab is from which place i think you had interview I'm... today with me na yes sir sir Madhav I'm is... I'm at Punjab right now, but I'm from Odisha, sir. Acha, you are from Ch Odisha now in Chandigarh. Yes, sir. Acha, what are you doing there in Chandigarh? I'm but pursuing my MC at from Chandigarh University. Acha, acha, good, good MC, good. Tell me. So there are several questions. I would like to start with what is the special uh, specialty of Federal Bank? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I have never attempted to know this. But if anybody can answer based on what he has been studying, I'll be happy. Otherwise, I will try to coin something. These questions are asked to find out whether you have gone through the website of the Federal Bank. This That is the thing. For example, this is the website of our Federal Bank. Now, what is the speciality? What is what is the question? What is the what is the speciality of federal bank? Uh, what is the speciality of federal bank? Federal bank is one of the private sector banks having large number of branches in Kerala. And this is one of the private sector banks having say more than 15% of the NRI deposits in our country and hence more than 15% of remittances from abroad is received through federal bank. These okay. are the three and other point is federal bank is considered as one of the greatest place 10th great among 10th greatest place in India to work for women and Federal Bank is the bank having 41% women employees as compared to 31 or 32% industry average. Then it is also considered as a greatest place, 50th greatest place or 60th greatest place for millennials. So that award has also been received by Federal Bank. Above all, this is the bank where the deposits are growing, business is also improving, and the profits are also rising. Don't ask me, are there not other banks doing like this? But when we answer for a particular bank question, we have to use such data and tell. That's all. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah. Next, anybody else can add some more points? Sometimes some boys, they're very... Uh, very calculative. They would have calculated. They would have got some extra ideas also. If you have some extra ideas, please uh, tell. Sir, can we say like uh, uh, Federal Bank's reputation for being customer-centric and innovative institution in the banking sector? Yeah. Or you can say in a Federal Bank is considered as a customer-centric uh, and uh, this, whatever points you wanted to say, you can tell like that. Yes. But even there, you know, when it is not specific, they may tease you by asking, how do you say is it customer centric? Otherwise, whatever I have been speaking, they are all facts. You might have seen. I am not telling anything that is not uh, written or that is not known. But if you simply say customer centric, utra acha nahi hai. Yes, sir. Yeah. We, whatever we speak, we must speak definite information and not vague information in interviews. Yeah. Come on. Any other question? Come on. 
Madhav, uh, what is this? Madhav, what is the second doubt? The compare SBI and Federal Bank. So mm -hmm. is it uh, that uh, should I be comparing the figures in this or no no no? You will not compare the figures, but you will simply say SBI is a public sector bank, and Federal Bank is a private sector bank. That is the major difference. And uh, in terms of NRIs, a, a Federal Bank has been doing a very good business as compared to SBI. I don't know the figures. However, um, yeah, there cannot be any other special difference between this bank and that bank. We cannot compare the deposits, advances, profits. That is not the question. Question is okay. not aiming at finding out what is the difference in profits or difference in deposit of State Bank of India and in this? Yeah. And you can also state SBI is the largest public sector bank in our country and is considered as one of the systemically important banks. That is State Bank of India, HDFC and ICICI. These three banks are called as domestically systemic important banks. That is, if anything happens to any of these three banks, it will shake the economy as a whole. It will shake the economy as a whole. That is why it is called as domestically systemic important banks. Similarly, in the case of insurance, Domestically systemic insurance company is life insurance and new India assurance. I am not sure whether there is another third one, but these two I am very sure. So they are called so because if anything happens to those two companies, it will shake the economy or affect the economy of our country. Good. Next question. Uh, these questions are the questions which I have some answers in my mind, but I want to know your point of view on this. It's so, okay. tell me about yourself, which is not in your resume. Uh -huh. Tell me about yourself, which is not in your resume. You have to tell about the achievements you have done in your college. Some boys or girls used to say, I was the leader of the my class team or class and I was leader of the, say, um, some ceremony, or some function celebrated or, or I coordinated a campaign, collection campaign and I made, a, made it a grand success. Some such things. You must be able to tell something concrete which is measurable in terms of numbers. You cannot simply say, I am a good leader. No. You must say, I was a leader of this group where I did this particular thing. If you, have done, if you have done that, you will be knowing it. Okay. okay. Sir. Yeah. Yes. Sir. So, uh, shall I continue, sir? Yeah, ask. Where do you see yourself in five years? Actually, I don't uh, um, uh, completely believe in this question, but still I have to answer some. So... See, this question is asked uh, to find out, are you willing to continue with the same bank? Are you serious about working in a bank? So what you can say is, I see myself as branch manager of the bank after five years. I would have passed JAIAB and CAIAB exams of Indian Institute of Bankers. And I would have learned more about the various schemes of the bank. And I'm sure I would have achieved my targets. So I see myself as manager. Okay, sir. After so, I think four years or so, you will be promoted. If you have done CIB and all, maybe after three years, they will consider your promotion. Okay, sir. So based on the conversation, what are your strengths and weaknesses? What should we highlight in this question? See, normally my routine answer is, um, I would have told majority of you, I am a quick learner. I am a hard working. I, I normally show this one, S-Bank.in Achievement Motivation. 
this is one of my blogs written some a decade back. What is the date? What is the date given here? No. Some 12 a.m. Some long, long time ago. Yes. Time only is given. Some years back. 15 years, 16 years. I don't know. When was it? So, Can you please share it, sir? Yeah. Uh, see, here, uh, are you able to see it? Yes, sir. See here, please read out these things. Creative, calculated, risk-taking, not to discourage by failures, hardworking, taking personal responsibility, desired feedback and learns from experience, recognizing errors, has self-confidence, success-oriented, competitive, positive attitude, time is important, innovative, like challenges, dynamic, identified with creating and changing, takes initiative, there is always a better way, high tolerance for ambiguities, intensive leader, ability to grasp quickly, dissatisfied with general life situation, average intelligence, has a strong reason for wanting to achieve something special, a clearly defined goal, planning a priority, uh, planning of priorities carefully, knowing when to ask for help and involve others in their plans, not just to dream about the goals, they take action and measure results. See, actually, it is not necessary you have to tell all these are there in you. Out of these things, which one do you consider as more important? You can tell about that. I think one thing is omitted here. Communication, has it been given in any other different form? It's not given. That is also one of the important qualities required and uh, you see when they ask for strengths you must tell about uh, the qualities that are needed for this job and okay, tell them that you have that what i normally tell them is i am a um, quick learner i am a hard working person i am not discouraged by failures I, I persevere even though I fail once or twice. And I always look at problems with a positive attitude and I am success oriented. I am very good in planning and hence my good in time management. I possess leadership skills and I am also a good team player. I am capable of solving problems. I'm good in problem solving um, and I can understand things quickly like this. This much will do. Other things, they are not very much relevant here. So you don't have to tell them. Okay. So this yes. is the thing. I'm just giving this link uh, in our, I think I would have given it many times. Of course, the students are new. So I have to give it here. See, now only the classes are going on for 10 days, 12 days, 15 days and all. Last 2-3 years back and all, my classes used to be only for 2-3 days. People will come on Monday, by Friday they will not be there. But now they are delaying somewhat for conducting interviews. And especially in the case of, say, that agricultural university and all, it has been delayed for more than one month and all, very rarely. Otherwise, there will not be any continuity. Now, you can see, right from 15th of January, I have been conducting classes, excepting on days when I am not in station. This much classes will not be there earlier. Because people will... And it is also true, I have never had the opportunity to teach people banking or teach people... Uh, this and all. I used to give them materials and I will give them my previous videos. So far in with me, there are nearly 1,600 videos on re insurance. Sorry, on interview. I would have given you some 764 videos which have been recorded from 23. I thought giving the very old ones is not required. That's why I'm not giving it. So, uh, whenever you have doubts, the best option is to discuss among the members of the group. 
if there is one or, one or two more candidates from your own university, you should discuss among themselves. Arey bhai, isko kaise answer karenge? Bolo. Like that, you should discuss and try to improve. The major problem for me is that majority of the boys from girls from South India and also a considerable number of people from North India, we are not strong in English. Our communication ability is very not good. So that is where the problem arises. I have seen from my experience, it is not my teaching that is relevant. It is not my giving the materials that is relevant. It is only the ability of the candidate to absorb things and speak out with confidence. That is, you might have seen about, I have given about 10 or 15 successful videos. There are many more also, many, many more. So, so far, in the latest Pan-India alone, 190 people succeeded. So the idea is, you, I can't inculcate this habit in you within one week. I won't be able to teach you English within one week. I can only tell you, look, you should start thinking about yourself in English. You must communicate in English with others. You must read newspaper. Itana bar bolne se bhi, students don't have time to go through. I am not blaming you. It's because I am the person who is giving you all these papers. You have to believe me. I don't get time to go through majority of the videos. I only go through some Tamil newspaper which I buy here. That is a hot copy. So that's because again, want of time only. Uh, for me, it is okay. I'm an old man. I do become tired quickly. But you candidates, when you understand there is a purpose, you will not get sleep. You will not become tired. So that is the yardstick of success. For example, say when you have to go for a flight at 4 o'clock, you will get up at 3 o'clock and go. Otherwise, normal days, you can't get up at 3 o'clock. So the purpose only makes us concentrate. You understand this is a very, very, very important assignment because the moment you go out of this institution, you will be among the large chunk of people who are in lakhs, 10 lakhs. Total number of competing candidates is somewhere around 40 lakhs for these bank jobs. And uh, among officers also some seven, even SBI, PO, I think they receive some 17 to 18 lakhs. So that much is the competition with which you have to compete and it is not at all easy. Here the cutoff would have been less and they compare you only among your college students. Today, you have 20 of you going from your college. They will compare among yourselves. For example, Pondicherry University recently, only one candidate could come out successful, Saranya. I think three or four of people were sent from us, from our group. They will judge among the members who is, contrib who is communicating properly, who is able to explain clearly, this is what. And who is knowing things? Some people don't know. Name the two states in North India. People cannot answer. A girl from, North, um, say, North India going for IBPSPO. I asked the names of three southern states and their capitals. She could not tell. Don't ask me, is it necessary for me to know about all states for success? But the interview demands that. The interview is demanding it. So what to do? So you have to see these are the types of questions. They have asked, what is modulation, demodulation? What is modem? What is, what is this? And gate or gate. Resonance, frequency and example. Then Doppler effect and example. Physics questions. Uh, how this question at least is okay. This is a totally absurd question. 
how many people are now above poverty level? I think this question they are asking because in the latest budget on 1st February, finance minister has told so many people have been brought out of poverty and all. So that is why they are asking. Ah, that is, It must be so because it is coming after the budget. Some facts of budget, how many people are above poverty level. I think budget, let us, it is worth our spending some time on that. Uh, though we have done it on that day itself. That day itself, we studied it, but I don't think we'll be, and th those candidates are not here now. Current affairs snippets, February. This is the thing. So, um, Pratik, uh, here, Yes, sir. What are the points you think are, see there are 75 points or uh, how many points? Yeah, 75 points. Remembering all the 75 is impossible. Now, from and out of that, which points, see this is very simple. No change in income tax lab. But this is a point, but telling that is not going to get you any merit. That is the problem. So, we should try to find out like this question number 5 40,000 normal railway bogies will be converted as one day Bharat standards I am not be I may not be surprised if they ask you what is one day Bharat standard I don't know you try to find out from Google then 1 lakh crore corpus will be made available 50 years interest free to encourage private sector to scale up R&D, then rooftop solarization. Above that, mostly that, um, what is that Suryodaya, that Yojana, about that, you get to know the details. 300 units free electricity. Then, uh, 25 crore Indians were pulled out of multi-dimensional poverty by the government over past 10 years. This question has been asked only for budget and based on budget. Okay. Then what else are important points? Minimum support prices for Annadatha increased periodically. Uh, this is a very important point. Direct financial assistance Extended to 11.8 crore farmers, 2,000 rupees every four months being credited. And it is all done through what? National Automated Clearing House that has been started by whom? National Payment Corporation of India. Headquarters, where is it? Delhi or Bombay? I always get down. NPCA headquarters, where is it? I always get doubt, you know, and Mumbai only, no problem. Good. So likewise, you must, um, and the MD and CU, MD is Dilip Asbe, D-I-L-I-P-L-W-E-P, Asbe, A-S-B-E. So likewise, you call out some five points and um, try to tell. I am not. I am not impressed with any of the big points, though she has uh, thought it fit to tell. This one you can say two crore houses will be built under PM Awas Yojana. Uh, Gramin one crore houses will be taken to rooftop solar units. Again, same point repeated. Then uh, next one, thirty crore Mudra Yojana loans have been given to. Women entrepreneurs. Mm. GST has enabled one nation, one market, one tax. Again, you know, it is all depending on how you... FDI inflows 
stand at 596 billion, twice more than 2014-15. Again and again, there is no need for us to tell about this. You tell FDI inflows now stand at nearly 600 billion. Fiscal deficit revised to 5.8%, lower than the earlier estimate of 5.9% in budget estimates. Okay, then what else? Electronic National Agricultural Market has integrated 1,361 Mondays is providing services to 1.8 crore farmers with trading volumes of 3 lakh crores of rupees. The sector is poised for inclusive, balanced and higher growth. Yeah. So these are the points. Whatever number of points I told, I don't remember. You just write out those points and try to tell them. If they ask you, what do you know about the budget, interim budget? Similarly, boys, girls, you must be knowing about your state budget also. Tamil Nadu and all budget came. I could not call out some important points. No newspaper is giving properly. Hindu immediately comes and blocks it. So like that. So you have to speak out the um, highlights of budget of your state also. Good. Any other questions, please? Other than that, whatever doubts you are having. Sir, I have one question. Right to yeah. tell weakness when they ask about strength and weakness. Strength and weakness. Strength, I have already told you. Yes, weakness. Sir. See, you must tell some weakness which is not unchangeable. If it is unchangeable, what? Then they will decide not to give you the job. So you must tell something which is not directly fully relevant and which you are able to overcome that. See, sometimes I used to tell the candidates to sell. I I am very uh, particular about getting projects done and all quickly and in time. But when my fellow candidates don't do it, I do get anger. And I used to show anger to them. Now I am aware of that. I am trying to overcome that by doing meditation and yoga. Whether that reduces, nobody knows. But this is what the answer you can give. Apart from that, some candidates used to say that I was having stage fear, not being able to communicate to others. That problem, this has been told by one Narmada, who is now officer in a federal bank. Why I remember about her? Because she came to me when she said, sorry, sir. I can't pay you the money now. I said, okay, you attend after getting selected, pay me out of your first salary. She sent 700 rupees. In those days, 700 I was charging. So she sent it. And that girl only told me that she is a chemistry graduate. She said, I was having problem in talking before others. So I joined a course with a Bombay company, she told, online. And I started learning it. And now I can communicate well with confidence. She was selected. So likewise, you can think of some other experience of yours, which is changeable, alterable over a length of time. That is what you should say. And again, one more problem. If everybody is going to tell the same reason, they will ask in the interview, what is it? All of you are telling the same reason, same answer. Have you attended Samasivam Sars class? That is what they asked in De Chennai, Bengaluru and Kolkata. So, the, so try to change the answer to suit your position. There is no definite answer. 
which will give you 10 out of 10 for this. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you can tell about weakness. And if at all you want to say, sorry, sir, I don't have any weakness. No problem. They will put further questions and all. And then they may irritate you to make you understand you get anger when you are being told no. So whatever it is. So you try to give the best answer. In fact, today, one boy came to me over phone. I think he has not come here. You know what happened? He is the, here is a boy who has failed in engineering two years. 14 year, 2014, he has completed in 16. Then after two years, he has joined and uh, say MBA, MBA also. Then MBA again, he failed two years. Instead of two years, he made it in four years. And that boy after that has been working in some marketing function and he has resigned. Now he is going for a marketing job in IBPS. And he wants to find out reasons or statements which can mellow down this and make him get more marks. That's nothing. It is not possible. Um, gap is a gap. The only way by which you can overcome that is by answering questions confidently and answering questions correctly. See, right, for example, what they will ask, nobody knows. Commonwealth they are asking. They can ask you seven wonders of the world. Then do you expect one to be remembering about all these things? Yeah, so that, that is what it is. So only thing is, um, this negative, this weakness, normally they don't ask for all the people. When they find you are not good in talking, when you are not able to communicate well, probably they may try to catch you by asking this question. Very good. Next. Any other doubts? Sir, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, if the question is like this, uh, as there is no branch in uh, my district, so uh, if we want to uh, open a new branch in your locality, how would you convince the customer who is going mm. to open an account in SBI to be your customer? So I belong to Bihar and I saw that there is no branch in my district also. So mm. this may be the question. Mm. Now, if they ask, you will tell them. I am very good in communicating. I am very confident of convincing others to come to us. I will highlight about the plus points of our product, like probably the higher interest rate on deposit or lower interest on advances or reduction in processing charges and try to tell them that all the processing will be done in a record time. So I will Tell like that and try to bring them into our fold. Okay. Mm. Next, any other person, any other question? Sir, in the uh, ba question bank, there was a question like uh, where, you, where you want to get posted in your first posting. So is it they're asking to, is asking no. us to get? No, no. Invariably, uh, people will say, I want to be posted in my own district, my own state. But uh, the best answer for that from the angle of impressing the interviewer is that, sir, I do not have any preference. However, if you want to give me the choice, I may prefer my state. You can tell like that. You can't tell I want. But, you know, this happened even for me after how many years? After 29 years of service in the bank, when there was a necessity for my getting transferred from Delhi, the MD, luckily MD came online and talked to me and asked, so what is it? Where do you want to be posted? I said, anywhere in Tamil Nadu, sir, that's all. I never said, please give me to Chennai where that is my home place. No, I said, anywhere in Tamil Nadu. And it so happened, they gave me Salem. That was an excellent branch. Superb branch. And it was very good. But of course, 
Well, immediately after that, this VRS came, so I opted for it. I came out of it. So that's what it is. So the idea is, you can say, for interview purposes, um, I do not have any preference. I'm willing to be posted anywhere in India. But if you are giving me a choice, I will prefer my home state first choice, second choice, say Karnataka, third choice, Kerala, or second choice, Kerala, third choice, Karnataka. Like that, you can say for South Indians. North Indians, accordingly, you can tell, say, my home state, West Bengal, or Bihar, whatever it is. But they will, your posting is not dependent on this interview. Okay, that sir. will be decided by them uh, at, uh, at, at uh, random. And nowadays, I am happy to know that they do change. There was a guy who was posted to somewhere uh, uh, from Tamil Nadu. He was posted some other state or so. He asked for a change. I told him they won't give. But he attended the training and they gave him change. And they gave a posting somewhere within Tamil Nadu. India. It happens. But some cases like Karnataka Bank, a boy from Karnataka was posted to a place in West Bengal, like Durgapur, exactly, Durgapur. The fellow asked for a change. They said, nothing doing. They did not agree for that. It all depends on like, but remember, just because you are going to get a posting in that place, that is not a permanent place. You will be taken out of that place after three years. But very rarely after a few years, bank also may not feel like changing you because they are saving money on transfer expenses also. That is also a point. Otherwise, there will be a change. In fact, I had to go to Kolkata. Then I had to go again to Delhi. See, it happens. Two times I have to go away from the home state. So this is what it is. So you can choose any suitable answer. Whatever answer you give, give confidence. Good. Next question. Any other question? Anybody? Devika. Devika is from agriculture. Yes, sir. Devika, yes, sir, from Kerala Agriculture University. Kerala Agriculture. Devika, yes, um, say, I would like to give you one IBPS PO. Yes, sir. Agriculture questions. Yes, sir. Uh, I will. Sir, I have attended IBPS I... AFO interview two times, but I was not able to clear it. No, no. I am telling you. Yes, sir. The questions they have given therein, um, okay. they are really good ones. That was again yes, given by one of our candidates. Yes, I, it is not my own. She has taken that from, uh, this is the one. Superb question paper, Baba. Superb question for AFO. And of course, uh, your, what is that, our... Um, um, federal bank people, they don't have that much time to go into uh, those questions. But the questions are very interesting. Self-intro, hobbies related question. Then mulsing, soil health card scheme. What is rattoning, Devika? Sorry. Yes, sir. It's uh, rattoning is that after the crop comes in case of sugarcane, again, like we have cut the put off portion. Again, from that, the another crop grows. We don't have to uh, put seed or plant it. Oh, again. really? Very good. What about mulching? Mulching is that we are covering the soil either with uh, grass or with plastic so that weeds doesn't grow. And Very good. No problem. What are the cattle breed diseases? Uh, so, uh, foot and mouth disease. That one mm. only, sir. I was agriculture. We don't know. Agriculture also. Yes, they are asking. Nah? Yes, they sir. have not asked a person who has studied veterinary science. They have asked yes, only sir. agriculture candidate. What is organic farming? I think you can answer. Then, mm -hmm. 
If you are appointed in metropolitan city, how will you give agri loan? Superb. Oh, Baba, what is the answer you will give? I have uh, been in bank for so many years, but still I don't know. Yeah. What are the, I think uh, there are some projects like, say, gardens. Say, some people, though they are living in city, they will be having gardens, some house land where they will grow plantation, then uh, ban banana or coconut and all that. So maybe for that, we can give agri loan and also when they require some tractor loan or for development of land or for irrigation purposes, we can give loan. So, um, uh, uh, how to send it to you? Where am I? This year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shall I give it in Federal Bank Group itself? I am giving it there only. You take it yes, from sir. there. You take it yes, from sir. there. There are nearly 11 pages or so. So many questions are there. And it will be... But 100% they are not going to ask from this. They will only ask you, why are you coming here after doing agriculture? How you will be of use for us in our bank? Something like that. Even for this um, uh, agriculture, they are asking questions like what is PAN card, RBI and its functions. Then um, what are the different types of account? What is your favorite subject? What is PAN card, para banking, Aadhaar card? These are regular questions. What is EQ, IQ? EQ is emotional question. Emotional question, intelligence. intelligence question. Question. Yeah. Um, crop assurance scheme. The crop assurance means that uh, what is that um, uh, government scheme? Fasal Bhima Yojana. Okay, please go through that. There are a lot of interesting questions. Some of which can be asked uh, here also. I don't know what is IARI, IARI and all. Then tractor loan. Very interesting, Baba. They are given so many questions. Plant clinic. What is plant clinic? Devika. The plant clinics are uh, yes, similar to clinics for us plants. So, like, uh, they, they are run by agriculture graduates so that uh, we have <laughs> that much clean. No, no. Plant clinics are run by local organizations and local people with initial on-the-ground support of the global plant clinic, which has subsequently been used developing. Uh, interesting facts about e-plant clinics. Are Baba. We don't know plant. They are asking about e-plant. No helplines and all this. So you may have to search like this and get to know. Okay. So thank you so much. Anybody else? Any other yes. questions? What are these questions yeah. that you are discussing right now? The Federal mm. Bank in India. No, no, they will not ask. I mean, these Federal will... Bank only for yes. agriculture candidate. They mm. may ask not all that. So far in agriculture candidates, uh, you can go through the 250 pages book. Uh, right, right. Sir. In that, some agriculture candidates attended agriculture probationary officer interview. And out of that, two person questions may appear for you. In sir, the other, yeah. sir, the other day I was looking at the IBPS PO questions. They were like quite deep questions and very like complex questions not, as compared to the federal bank. Yeah, not deep. It is not possible for one to answer. Say they are asking who is the chief election commissioner. Then uh, they are asking about the what is the seven wonders of the world. Then uh, what is happening in international monetary fund. What has happened in Maldives. Finished. So how yes. can one remember all these things, Baba? It's very tough. Yes, uh, quite difficult. Quite difficult. 
that is why i am telling you please take this very serious and again not all of us can be selected only uh, it depends sometimes mm -hmm. some weeks i used to get four people selected some weeks only one person it depends on their ability to communicate with the confidence okay right. good anything else anybody else so can you share that uh, document of that uh, budget interim budgets pdf it is there in our uh, february yeah, are you a member of our newspaper group yes sir when did you join newspaper just recent is uh, three days back every day i am giving newspaper link there in the sense current affairs snippets okay sir in that current affairs snippets in the month of february first of february is that budget okay sir yeah every day i will be posting depending on what i i don't i don't have time to prepare it myself i take it out from some website then i give it there and then give it to you so you have to go through that to know at least what is happening important things happen Sure, sir. And so, what now, about nowadays? Okay. Nowadays, I am giving another one also. Updates. One one person has been giving us updates every day. Some color updates. You front might line. have yeah, no front line. No, no, I don't. What, what is that? <laughs> now, I, I, however, I read that, but I don't remember what is the title he is giving for front line. And today I gave you Kurukshetra and all that. This one. I am more particular about this. The banking front line. This is yes. a very useful material. Banking front line before going for the interview. If at all I have posted, make use of it. And touch wood, nothing is my own making. Some good soul is sharing it with us because I have subscribed for the yearly this thing. So it is coming to me. So I will be sharing it with you. And okay, of course, yeah, this is what it is. Anybody so else? Then, Any? Yeah. Where will I get that uh, link for my interview video? Can I get it? No, your interview video will be there on the uh, YouTube. No? Okay. Uh, you, Madhab is asking? Yes, sir. Madhab, uh, one minute. I must have posted it already. Okay, sir. I'll Just a minute. Up. Just a minute. Just a minute. So today, you are from which place? IBPS, what is sir? No, sir. Federal Bank. I'm I'm at Chandigarh right now, but I'm from Odisha basically. Oh, Federal Bank. Federal Bank, Chandigarh. Yes, sir. Not, no, no, not this. Federal Bank, Chandigarh, MCA, correct? Yes, sir. You are that boy. Yes, sir, this is mine. Okay. I'll check it out. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. But one plus point in your case is the smile. Thank you. I told you then also, not that you answered so very well, but your smile will get you success. Best wishes. Thank, Thank you. you. We will meet again tomorrow, 8.30 tomorrow, Sunday. And um, I, I, am, I have not put anybody in the morning. Only 3 p.m. it starts. Up to 6.30 it will go. Then 8.30 I will come to you. No problem. Thank you. And anybody wants interview tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, you can send message to me. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Good.